Hey everyone, it's Noya Jr. here, your go-to YouTube content creator for Ragnarok Mobile Eternal Love. For those who've been following me for a while, you probably know I've been using other voices in my videos, but um, I'm switching things up now and using my own voice with a little twist. Yes, this is what I actually sound like. I've been making ROM content for quite some time now, focusing mainly on DPS roles. I've been playing this game since 2019. and. I've been in the competitive scene for so long that I've lost count of the seasons. So yeah, I guess you could say I'm a bit of a season pro or you know, a season two, depending on how you look at it. Today I want to dive into a job that many of us have been trying to make work, but it's been a bit of a challenge. Thor, let's talk about the ever-changing meta in Ragnarok Mobile. The developers are always introducing new hero jobs. Um, it's left us competitive players in a bit of a mess every season the meta shifts and we're left wondering which job is going to dominate this time dominate this time we've seen it all right from the Thanatos era to Jormungandr and Valkyries it's been quite a roller coaster we've spent a ton of money only to see some jobs just flop like the one punch man horse job high job I mean come on the names alone are a warning sign right and then came Thor job that personally I don't really like. Why? Because Thor is so unstable. His damage fluctuates a lot, his skills require precise channeling, and if you build him wrong, he's as fragile as a wet paper bag. Thor can be strong and tanky if you build him with wind armor. Um, outside of that, he's really easy to kill and disable. To make a good Thor, you need to these requirements. A well-developed hand HP block relic or wind relic as your main equipment. Solid resistance, overpowered PW cards, excellent coordination with your team's support. Or faith pray without these, don't even bother playing Thor. I'm serious, it'll drive you up the wall. I learned this the hard way last season when I played Thor with my team. I thought I could at least score in the top 600 in Magic Prison but um, my Thor lacked firepower and my gameplay was off. I missed at least two or three of the key requirements and well that season didn't end well. Let's just say my Thor wasn't exactly the god of thunder. After that grueling season and some drama with Arisa, the op saint from Oxox Guild, the devs released two new jobs. Kalitzberg, a burst physical DPS, and Sarah, a burst magical DPS, both with OP buffs and builds. Kalitzberg can wreck a full HP Thor with shield and HP block using his Omni Slash, and Sarah, she can gun down Thor from afar with her OP skills and damage over time. It's frustrating, right? You spend all your BCC just to get destroyed by these new DPS classes. It's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. And let's not forget Jorman Gunder with his magical auto attack and CC freeze and Fenrir with his auto attack, crits, and skill damage, plus their crazy crowd control totems. All of these pose serious threats to Thor. It's like every new job is trying to one-up the previous one, and poor Thor is just stuck in the middle. But then everything changed when the devs released Sarah. Sarah is a burst magical DPS, a hero class of Soulbinder. Initially, we all thought this job would be more suited for support, right? But as usual, the devs managed to surprise us. Sarah has three elemental attacks, fire, dark, and ghost. And she has this permanent stealth that lets her attack without revealing her position. The meta shifted again. It's like the devs are playing chess. While we're still trying to figure out checkers, Kalitzberg, who was once the favorite burst DPS, is now vulnerable without HP block. Sarah, with her 12 meter plus range and area attacks, can exploit the distance and tank down Kalitzberg before he even gets close. Sure, pro players will find counters, but 6v6 scenarios, if one Sarah can cause so much trouble, imagine what happens when you add Fenrir, Jormungar, and Thor to the mix. It's like a chaotic dance party where everyone's trying to step on each other's toes. So back to the lineup, it really depends on your team. But um, in my humble opinion, the best current line for a 3D DPS team would be Jormungandr, Sarah, and Thor. Why? Because Thor can be a strong controller and disabler. Thor's role would be to utilize his click skill to hold down enemies while Sarah and Jormungandr finish them off with powerful AoE damage. It's like having a really cool bouncer at a party who keeps the troublemakers at bay while the rest of the team 
has a blast. In my gameplay video, you'll see that even though our lineup wasn't ideal, we only used Thor and Sarah, we managed to hold our own, especially in the second map. The opposing team, Infinite Tamagotchi, wasn't that strong. But this trial practice shows that Thor still has power this season. However, for Thor to be effective, he needs a lot of support from your team. Buffs like LP and Pool are crucial, and Thor's gameplay needs to shift. He can no longer be the super aggressive dive-in character he used to be. Instead, Thor should play more like a backline defender or holding midfielder, focusing on crowd control with Clink and fending off incoming DPS. Forget the fancy dives into enemy bases, jobs like PD and Elf can easily pull a reckless remove his FP and render him useless. Remember, without faith prey buff, Thor is very weak. Always keep that in mind. Or you might find yourself with a very sorry looking Thor on your hands. Another thing to keep in mind is um, how you manage your team's overall strategy. Thor's effectiveness also depends on the synergy between him and the rest of the team. Having a good balance of roles, including support and other DPS classes, is crucial. Thor thrives in a well-coordinated team where his crowd control can really shine. Also make sure to stay updated with any balance changes or new hero releases as these can significantly impact Thor's viability. The meta is always evolving and adapting to these changes can give the edge in both PvP and PvE scenarios. Lastly, if you're struggling to make Thor work in your team comp compositions, don't get discouraged. Sometimes it takes a bit of trial and error to find the right build and strategy that suits your playstyle and team dynamics. Or you could always just embrace the chaos and have fun with it. So yeah, that's pretty much for today's update on Thor. I hope this helps you navigate the ever-changing meta of Ragnarok Mobile. If you have any questions or want to see more gameplay, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and as always, keep fighting and try not to get your Thor too electrocuted. Alright folks, before we wrap up, I want to take a moment to talk about something um, could really benefit a lot of you. Especially those who are serious about improving their PvP game, Ragnarok Mobile. So um, every Wednesday at 9 p.m. T plus 7, I host a PvP class. It's a great opportunity for anyone who's looking to, you know, uh, level up their skills, get some guidance, or just learn more about the game. I'm co-hosting this with Carmilla. And uh, let me tell you, she's got a wealth of experience. We work together to break down strategies, go over tactics, and uh, basically help you understand the in ins and outs of competitive play. Now, whether you're a veteran player or someone who's just getting into PvP, this class is really designed to meet you where you're at. We make sure to cover a wide range of topics. So there's something for everyone. And you know, it's not just about us talking at you. We're there to answer your questions help you solve specific problems you might be facing and um, make sure you leave each session feeling more confident in your gameplay. So yeah, if you're serious about uh, stepping up your game and want to be part of a community that's all about learning and improving, don't miss it. That's every Wednesday at 9 GMT plus 7. Mark your calendars and um, I really hope to see you there. It's going to be a great time and I think you'll get a lot out of it. Happy night. Okay, thank you. They have lava pad. Um, meow meow sweep. Oh, I, I, I sweep all of them. They are naked. No, very good. I thought in, in map 2. I'm not very good. Better damage map 2. One big on this. Ah, this is PD, PD here, PD here. Happy, happy, happy. PD here, PD here. Happy. Okay, okay. Ah, I respond. Copy, copy. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, fair, fair, yeah. Oh, no, I'm oh, in left. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm cutting, I'm cutting. Forget it, forget it, I can't wait. A lot of people at left. That truck street, right? That truck street. Oh, wow. Same so thing, same judgment, same judgment. Wait, 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 wait. The judgment. Where's the enemy? Oh, we're make good. Nice. Yeah, Thor is strong in map 2 and 3. 